Hey gang, uh, back again with another one of my favorite tools. Uh, this isn't just one tool, it's actually a whole bunch of tools, kind of like a Swiss Army knife for, for developers. Uh, but not just developers, designers. It's also good for project managers and QA teams and whoever else needs to make sure that the website is uh, lined up the way that you hope it will be. Uh, nothing is ever pixel perfect, but we can at least make sure that uh, certain things are lining up. Uh, so some, some of the quick tools in here, it's actually called Xscope, uh, and it has 10 different tools. It's pretty, pretty amazing, pretty, pretty concise. Uh, it does have a loop, uh, but I don't use that because I have SIP. Uh, in line with, with the loop is uh, this. This is called Screens, and it will give you different layouts for different browsers or different devices. Uh, so I can actually switch the device to MacBook or iPad or iPhone and it'll give me different layouts for each of those. Uh, the way that I currently use this, the way that I usually use this, is both to de-retinize so you can actually see how fuzzy your text gets if you aren't careful about that. And of course color blindness, which is something that I've been trying to be better at. Uh, there's blurry if you wear glasses. Uh, so that's screens and the loop also has those those color modes which uh, makes it a little bit redundant for me because I have this and, and that. Uh, the other thing that I use a lot is text uh, usually for CSS to generate these codes here. So it's all of these different ones Oh, I have arrow still in there, but uh, maybe I'm doing some block quotes and I want some special quotes. So I can just grab that, whoops, grab the right one and put it in there. And in fact, there's, there's a lot more than just that format. It actually gives you plenty of different formats. So the named HTML entity, if you wanted to put it into your HTML or uh, various other formats, even just a string, if you just wanted to copy and paste that into Illustrator or something like that, right? Uh, so it's useful for everyone. Uh, you can go through here and find uh, French quotes. Guy, Guillaume, is that right? Guy, I always forget. So hard to pronounce that. I'm so bad at French, but uh, there it is. And that's right there. Uh, the Chinese quotes looks like this one, here it is. And even uh, breadcrumbs. Maybe I want uh, an arrow in there. There's a good one. So I can very quickly get in there and so long as I'm using a font that actually has proper Unicode characters, all of them, uh, these will show up one way or another. Uh, so that's usually how I use text. Uh, makes it very easy for me to, to generate those codes. Uh, after that, uh, my favorite tool here is uh, Frames. It allows me to take consistent screenshots. So maybe I'm comparing my local site with the stage server or something like that. Now I can get the exact same size screenshot across all those. You just click this little camera and it takes pictures and you can have the same size, hopefully in the exact same spot if you scroll properly. Uh, it's one of my favorite ways of just getting really consistent screenshots. Uh, what else is in here? The uh, overlay, let's forget some of these names. The overlay is a way of checking your grids. So if I was over on Bootstrap, just to pick on one, I could actually lock this to, to the browser and you see it resize and then it gives me this error message. Thank you very much. Not an error message, a warning. And when I drag this around, it drags the, the browser window as well. If I resize the browser window, it changes. And the cool thing about this, there's three of these right now, but you'll notice I have 1024, 768, 
480. 480 is one, 768 is two columns, 1024 is one, two, three columns. If I resize this, it changes. So I can very quickly test uh, responsive grids, which I think is just amazing. I only learned about this recently, and it, uh, it's pretty amazing to me that, that they've actually made it work that way. Uh, I could also overlay an image, so if I really wanted to get that pixel perfection thing down, I could do that. I'm never going to do that. But anyway, there it is. Uh, the rest of the tools are mostly measuring. So you have things like dimensions. Dimensions let you uh, find measurements between any two points. I can find the internal width and height of this button or the width of the screen, stuff like that. Uh, I have a ruler. I usually use this to figure out my breakpoints. So if I have like a tricky navigation, I'll stretch this out and then just start moving the browser. And when I find that something is breaking where I want it to, I can measure it and figure out what that number is. So I'm always bang on with my, uh, with my responsive measurements. That's how I use that. Uh, there are also guides. So over here I have this button and there's just something, something doesn't feel right about this. This is actually a real button set from, from a site that I worked on recently and something doesn't feel right. So what we can do is we can actually grab these guides. You can add as many as you want, horizontal or vertical. You notice it even gives you a measurement in here. But the way that I usually use it is just to position it close, right about here. And yeah, you can see that this button is not the same height as these. And for those of you that are really curious about it, it's because this doesn't have a border. These have this purple border on them, but this does not. So quick fix there would, uh, would change things. The final tool here is one that I don't use a lot for, for actual measurement. I use it more for fun. Maybe the code is just driving me crazy and I cannot for the life of me figure out what's going on. So I'll, I'll do a little bit of catharsis. Uh, control Option Command while moving this, these crosshairs around causes it to start shooting guns, shooting bullets. Just shoot the sight up, get your, get your frustration out. And if you, if you shot enough, uh, if you could hear the sound of my computer, you would actually hear those gunshots. And if you shoot enough, then you'll also hear uh, a police siren, which is pretty funny. The only downfall of this is that you have to turn off Xscope in order to get rid of this. But uh, it's a little bit of fun when you're having one of those off moments where it's just not working. Anyway, that's it. That's Xscope. Uh, Swiss Army Knife of DevTools, you have a loop, screens, text, uh, grid overlays, which I think are pretty cool, frames for consistent screen caps, and a whole bunch of different ways of measuring and making sure that everything is in alignment. Uh, try it. It's not free, unfortunately, but I think that it is worth it. Uh, if you have similar tools, I'd love to hear about them. Definitely comment and I will see you another time.